Good morning, good morning to you. Happy Friday. Yes, you know what day it is. It is Friday. You made it. And I hope you've had a pleasant week and I hope that you're even going to have a more pleasant weekend, whether you're going to do some decluttering, uh, maybe you'll clear out your kitchen, some decluttering, some rest, some um, hanging, hanging out, whatever it is, I hope that you have a wonderful one. Who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with declutterthebrain.com, helping you to eliminate your clutter and overwhelm in 90 days or less so that you can focus on the things that matter, whether the, whether that's being profitably productive as an entrepreneur or it's just feeling calm and confident and knowing you can invite any, you can invite people in on a moment's notice. You can uh, find anything, any item, you know exactly where it is. That is calm and confidence, yes. And that's, and that's what we do for you at declutterthebrain.com. This week, we do happen to be talking about a quick kitchen clear out for Christmas. Why might you want to do such a thing uh, at any time of the year? Perhaps you've had people move out or move in. Um, you may be on a new diet. You may just feel like you need a lift of the spirits. And it could even be a lift of the spirits too, actually. Uh, uh, you just want some, uh, some new energy flowing into the heart of the home, which is, of course, the kitchen. So the first thing would do, don't try to do it all at once. That's why we've broken up, uh, we've, we've broken it up into categories this, this week so that it's not such an overwhelming chore. We can break it up. You can do it over two or three weeks and you're gonna be good, uh, just lemony fresh by Christmas when, Pete, and when uh, we hope that you don't have somebody who's judgmental visiting your home, but if they, if they are, you will be ready. So don't try to do it all at once. First thing, I like to get the fridge out of the way. That's, that's me. Um, here's a quick tip. Sweep the floor and then throw a drop cloth, an old sheet, whatever, to catch the crumbs that will inevitably fall out of the fridge. Then you won't track them all over the, all over your home. And then you can shake out the drop cloth. Set your timer for 30 minutes and empty one shelf. How many? One shelf at a time and give it a quick wipe. This is a race here. Yes, it is. It's a race. Quick, quick wipe and put back anything that isn't a science project. And you, you can look at the nooks and crannies later. It doesn't have done as better than perfect as we say here. All right, now we move to the cupboards. One dish at a time, okay. So, but first one cupboard at a time and you probably won't have to do all of the cupboards. Uh, the probably a couple of cupboards that you never even go into. Go through the dishes first and toss the chipped and nasty ones, the ones that you don't even like, but you're keeping just because, I know, I know that's really tough. I have a hard time with that too. But but do that for yourself, you deserve it. The chipped and nasty dishes, they, they, they bring you down. Uh, then take that handy dandy stick vac, you know, vacuum out the, the crumbs, give it a quick wipe if it, if it needs it, and move on to the food cupboards exactly the same deal and i told that quick story about the about the hundred year old rice krispies uh my friend had his children visiting and i guess they cleaned cleaned out the kitchen and she reported we found a hundred year no we found rice krispies that were a hundred years old well she was four years old look at it from her point of view but um bum keep your garbage bag handy for those 100 year old Rice, Rice Krispies uh, and just go through, assess if, if everything is, so, is still safe to eat. If you even eat this kind of food anymore, you probably save money by finding Christmas ingredients like cranberry sauce, so, so you'll save money. Again, take your stick back, vacuum up those crumbs, give it a quick wipe uh, where necessary and move on. Um, now, well, I've done all this work and it's probably not going to stay that way. Stop it. Stop it right now or I'll give you the kitty stare. 
easy to keep it this way, and I do this. So uh, reach out to me if you if you want clarification. First, just be mindful of your shopping habits. Remember uh, the stuff that you've thrown away. Uh, just just be careful of your shopping habits. Don't buy stuff that you well. It looks like it might be nice. Um, don't do that. Just uh, go, oh yeah, right, okay. Uh, I want to keep my kitchen clean because I just spent time on it. Uh, my biggest tip is clear the fridge once a week. Once a week? Yes, once a week, but 15 minutes. Actually, when I do, I do it every Saturday and it takes me, oh, maybe seven minutes because I'll always have leftovers, so they have to be packaged. So, so I allow myself 15 minutes and give it a quick wipe, and then you're fresh for the next week. And every time you open that fridge door, you will smile instead of sigh. Okie dokie, till next week, uh, when our theme is Christmas. I know, I know, but it's here. So, might as well. Uh, Christmas endured or enjoyed. Let's enjoy it for change, hmm? because we don't always, so we're, go we're gonna look at that next week. Until then, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter, and reserve that quick and 30-minute 30, 30 no-cost call. And let's find out if, we, if, if I can help you to uh, eliminate that clutter and overwhelm we were talking about earlier so that you can really, really Enjoy your home. You deserve to enjoy your home, don't you? Have a terrific weekend, everybody. Bye for now.